the new marketing show. This is a bonus edition brought to you by Trinity Web Media. And you can also catch this on Instagram TV. I'm actually recording this one live, so it'll post to Trinity Web Media's Instagram TV. So, you know, I want to do a series on frequently asked questions. And <clears throat> I the way that I feel about frequently asked questions is if you have to have a FAQ page on your website that isn't directed at specific content pages, you have a gap in your content marketing and your content strategy. So it, it, this really allows you to identify some gaps that you may have, and it helps you make things better whenever you can. So first thing that we're always asked, and we're asked this a lot by a lot of different clients and a lot of different people is, typically they come to us and they already have a website and they say, what do you think of our website? And then it's one of those like collective size and it's like, oh, well, you have two routes here, and we typically answer it in a way that is always honest, but in a way that's helpful and gives helpful critique. So usually when we're speaking with somebody, we've already had the opportunity to look at somebody's website and look at their marketing and to see what's going on, what they can do better, what they can improve on. Sometimes we look at things and it's just a flat out mess. So. It's one of those balances where you have to say, you have to be honest, you have to give some constructive critique and say how you feel about it. But at the same time, you don't ever want to slam anybody who created the site previously because you don't know. It could be the client's wife who did it. It could be the client's son. It could be somebody close to the client. It could be a good friend. It could also have been the client themselves. So you, you want to walk the delicate balance between being very, very honest and telling them where there's rooms to improve, not having your honesty be overshadowed and hiding things, you know, that need to be fixed and that need that where things need to actually work way better. And also you want to make sure that what you're telling them isn't salesy, that it's objective. So I did this yesterday with a client site. They, you know, we've worked with them in the past. They had a industry specific company build their new site and he came to me and he said well what do you think of it and I said well, you know while it's beautiful how does it work for the business and then it was a wait a minute this works this works this doesn't this doesn't this doesn't this doesn't and then it, we can talk about how Trinity Web Media and me and Kevin's expertise kind of play a part and how we can up the game you know we don't want to we want to be objective when we do consultations we don't want to be salesy. We want to be as helpful as possible. And we point the clients in the right direction to get everything done. But being asked, what do you think of our website when it's totally awful? You have to say, you know, I think that you can do better. I think that this isn't serving your business as well as it could. I don't think this represents your brand as it could or as it should. You know, those are all ways to say, you know, it's, it's not working. And then also, I mean... You can also just come out and say to people, you know, I, I always ask them, like, is it achieving your goals? You know, anybody can make a website look good, but not everybody can make one work. You know, always go back to that. So when somebody asks us, what do you think of our site? Not to, you know, to, to be evasive, not to dodge a question. I always ask, how's it working for the business? Look, if it's working for the business and if it's working well for the business, then maybe it just needs a facelift. Or maybe it just needs some fine tuning, you know? But always just kind of answer this one in a sensitive way because also you don't want to make the client feel stupid. You don't want to make the client feel like they really, they, they got taken advantage of, which happens quite often in our business, especially when you're dealing with industry specific web development companies. You know, we've experienced that a lot lately. So just answer it as honest as possible. And if you are asking somebody, like myself, what what do we think of your website? Be prepared for the honest truth and be prepared for, you know, people trying to sell you, but it, it doesn't need necessarily need to be like that. So I hope this helps. This is one of the FAQs that we're asked all the time and taking our own medicine. We created some content around it. So thank you for listening. You can always check out the new marketing show on Tuesdays. We also drop bonus editions on Wednesday and Saturday, and you can catch us on Instagram TV on Mondays and Thursdays. So hope to, hope to see you guys around.